Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. The time has come that we get to open up the Litjoy Crate Magical Subscription Big Seven box. Now, the Big Seven refers to the Big Seven characters in the Harry Potter series. So Harry, Ron, Hermione, Draco, Neville, Luna, and Ginny. So the items in these boxes are going to be themed around those seven characters. Litjoy Crate is sponsoring this video, but all opinions are my own. Now you're seeing two boxes here. One of them is the Litjoy Crate, and the other has add-on items that you can add to your magical subscription box. Now this box is sold out. You cannot purchase it anymore, but you can sign up and purchase for their next crate, which is a magical classes theme. The Litjoy Crate magical subscription is a quarterly box, so you get one every three months. And the last few Litjoy crate boxes have been absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see the items inside of these boxes. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. Now I'm not sure which one is the add-on box, which one is the subscription box. So let's pop this one open. All right, I think that this is going to be the add-on box. Yes, this is the add-on box. All right, the first item on top is something I'm very excited about because it's something we read about in the Harry Potter books. In Deathly Hallows, the seventh Harry Potter book, Harry, Ron, and Hermione visit Xenophilius Lovegood or the Lovegood's house, which is where Luna Lovegood lives. And it's mentioned that there's a mural that Luna has painted of essentially the big seven and it's surrounded by the words friends, 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 friends. So this blanket right here is that mural. Holy cow, it's huge too. Super soft, by the way. This is a really nice, warm, soft blanket. Check this out. So who do we have here? We have Ginny and Harry, and then we have Hermione here, and Neville, and then Ron. And then surrounding all of the characters, it just says friends repeatedly. This blanket is massive. I'm six feet tall and it's as tall as I am. Huge blanket, super soft, really nice printing on here. Fun cartoonish design, something that you would imagine Luna would paint on her ceiling. This is a really fun thing to see come to life and to turn that mural into a blanket that you can use every day. All right, also in the add-on box are more of the Aloha Mora collection keys. If you haven't seen one of the Litjoy Crate unboxings in the past, Litjoy Crate has this series of magical keys from magical places that we all know and love. So let's see what the next key is. There are actually two of them here. This one is the groundskeeper key. What I love about this key right here is that it has a variety of keys. We have a key to the Owlery, a key to Hagrid's Hut, a key to Hogwarts, a key to Hogsmeade perhaps. There's a, a hog on the end of this key. And then we have a key ornament of Hagrid's lantern. Let's put this key together. Check out the quality of this key. As you can see, it says Keeper of Keys and Grounds. We have Hagrid's hut there with pumpkins surrounding it. Really nice, thick, well-made, beautiful key. And then we have these smaller keys, which are not only cute, but just a nice addition to this groundskeeper key. Litjoy Crate always goes above and beyond with their items. They could have just made this one key here, but since Hagrid is the keeper of the keys, they went a step further and created not one, but three additional Hogwarts grounds keys. Now this looks like the key ring of a keeper of the keys. Beautiful designs, and it jingles and sounds like a key ring that Hagrid would be carrying around with him. Now we also have a magical key sticker to go into our passport. When you purchase a crate or add-ons, you can add on for free a Litjoy crate passport. And for each of the boxes you purchase, as well as the add-on items, you get a little sticker to put into your passport. So we're gonna put that aside and put Hagrid's key aside and open up the next one. All right, this next key is, dun, dun, dun. oh, nice. Okay, so we have a giant key ring. So this is perfect because we are opening up a lot of keys. So this is the mothership of the keys and you can attach all of the different keys that you have in the Aloha Mora collection. 
to this mothership keyring. It has a nice dark silver color to it, and then there are two keychains on it. One of them says Keeper of the Keys, and the other has the Litjoy Crate Alohomora Collection logo on it. All right, so the next key for this add-on collection is... Ollivanders. Okay, this is beautiful because it's a different finish than, oh, it spins too, holy cow. Oh, and can we talk about the packaging for a second? Look at that silver foiling. The box slides open and then the inside is lined with velvet. The keys are incredible and the box just adds to the overall quality of these different keys. All right, so what we have here is a key in the shape of a magic wand. The key handle spins on one side is the Ollivander's logo and then on the other side we have Ollivander's shop window. Attached to the key is a wand box and on the back of the wand box it says, the wand chooses the wizard. And it opens. Oh my gosh, it opens. The wand box opens up to reveal a wand inside. And the wand is the elder wand. Okay, this is crazy. And then the keychain itself says makers of fine wands since 382 BC. And then it has the Ollivander's logo on the front and the Alohomora collection logo on the back. Really nice shiny black finish. This is some high quality stuff here, you guys. And one of the things I've mentioned in past videos that I love about not only Litjoy Crate, but these keys is the attention to detail. This key ring right here matches as it should the key as well as the keychain. Litjoy Crate could have just thrown in plain silver key rings with their different keys, but they make sure that the key ring matches the keys. And that is a sign of a quality product right there in my opinion. All right, let's put on our keys. And I'm gonna actually get the other keys and put them on this mothership of key rings. The Borgen and Burks key. Now, if you wanna see these keys in more detail, definitely check out the previous Litjoy Crate unboxings. This one is really fun. It's a Honey Dukes key. Here we have the Burrow. And then Weasley's Wizard Weezes key. And the keychain actually lights up. It's a flashlight, which is fun. This giant key ring was a great idea. So now all of the keys are together and Hagrid's the keeper of the keys and grounds at Hogwarts. I am the keeper of the keys and grounds of the wizarding world. This is so magical right here. Once again, if you wanna see all of these keys in detail, check out the two past unboxing videos. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We are happy to have you here. Now there are a few more add-on items in this box. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. We're gonna put it aside for now because I want to dive into the big seven. Don't worry, we will look at the add-on items in a little bit. But really quick, this is the passport I was talking about. And inside of the passport are various locations for you to put your stickers. We have got to admire and take a look at this box first though. On the front, we have a beautiful design featuring the Litjoy Crate Magical Subscription logo. It says the big seven. There are some spells swirling around as well as some winged keys. On the front here, we have Harry Potter himself, one of the big seven, Miss Luna Lovegood, Hermione and Ron, Draco Malfoy. And we're missing Neville Longbottom. You would think that he would be on the bottom because he's Neville Longbottom. But we have a Thestral on the bottom. So Neville, I'm assuming, is going to be on the inside. And the big reveal, Neville Longbottom. Oh, Ginny. Sorry, Ginny, I totally forgot about Ginny too. So Neville and Ginny are on the inside underneath this front flap. Neville is holding his Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Trevor is once again escaping and Ginny is holding Arnold, her pygmy puff. Here we go. We have some white schnigglies. We're gonna move those aside. The very first item is something wrapped up. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it has a Luna theme. I see the Quibbler on here, her Spectro Specs, Radish Earrings her lion hat, her Patronus. What is this? Is this a, a scarf? I think it's a scarf, one of those infinity scarves. I may be wrong, but I think this is what that is. So we're gonna put it on and there you go. We've got a Luna Lovegood infinity scarf, which is double layered. The material is very cool. Not like cool awesome, I mean, it's a, a cool pattern, but it's cool like cold cool. Very smooth, very comfortable, it's stretchy as well. I mean, this isn't something I would personally wear, but quality wise, as well as comfort, it definitely hits both of those boxes. So for whoever wears this, this will be very comfortable. The fabric is half purple, half pink, and it just screams Luna Lovegood. Here's a full screenshot of the pattern. So we have Luna Lovegood covered. We have a little box down here. The Boy Who Lived. 
All right, so this is going to be Mr. Harry Potter. And it looks like stained glass window on the front and the back of this box. So here it says the boy who lived with four lions in the corner representing Gryffindor. And then Harry's stag Patronus, the Deathly Hollow symbol with his lightning bolt as the Elder Wand, Gryffindor colors, as well as a golden snitch. Let's take a look at what this is. It is stained glass. It's a little stained glass window. So here we have that same artwork that we saw on the box. This thing screams Gryffindor. All right, let's shine a little light behind it. This would look great when the sun is shining through it. It just sparkles and shines when the light hits it from the front. When it hits it from the back, you can kind of see some of the imperfections of the paintwork. The one thing I wish that was included, which might be in this box, is a suction cup hook so that you can hang this up on your window. So again, it might be in here, but it wasn't included in this box. All right, next up, is this small box here. It says Ronald Billius Weasley on the top. So this is going to be Ron Weasley themed. And then on the first inside flap, it says he must have known that you'd always want to come back. <gasps> no way. It's going to be a deluminator. Stop it right now. It's a flashlight. It's a deluminator flashlight. Fun designed flashlight that looks and feels like Dumbledore's invention, the Deluminator, or a light put outer. It has that kind of stone marbled effect on the side and then it's silver and then it's a really bright LED flashlight. Inside of the box included is a strap for your flashlight. Personally, I think it looks better without the strap, but if you would like to add a wrist strap to it, there's one included. Now I have to admit I'm a little disappointed. I thought when I read this flap that this was going to be a Deluminator replica, but this was a good, clever idea to turn the Deluminator into a flashlight. Okay, we have a small white box here. Dun -dun -dun. And this is glass. It's a glass stand. It's a glass stand for what looks like a sphere or a, a ball or something. And there's a, does this, I think this lights up. There's a little pull tab. <gasps> Neville Longbottom is one of the big seven. The color of the light in this stand that holds a sphere is red. What color does the smoke change to in a remembral if you've forgotten something? Red. There's a remembral in here. Is this it? The only problem is I can't remember what I've forgotten. That is what this red box says. It's a rememberal, a beautiful rememberal. In this beautiful packaging, beautiful box, look at that red silk holding the rememberal. Apparently I haven't forgotten anything because the smoke on the inside has not turned red. On the inside are laser printed swirls to make it look like smoke is swirling around within the sphere. The rememberal has been sealed shut with a gold border. The top and the bottom of the rememberal have swirls etched onto it. You guys ready to see what we've forgotten? I need to turn the lights out for this. Hey look! Pizza's got to remember. What a cool idea. Not only a cool idea, but a beautiful, stunning, well-made. This thing just glows. How beautiful is that? The light on the stand is battery powered and you just twist the bottom to turn it on and off. As I mentioned, this is made out of glass, which is awesome. This is also glass. So it's like a mini crystal ball turned into a rememberal. It's definitely on the smaller side of what we're used to when it comes to a rememberal, but this is such a beautiful, delicate, collector's piece right here. And then to have that glass stand just adds to the overall look and feel of this piece. And then we have the box. I mean, this is a great presentation box. And then again, just quality. Okay, we have some pins here. Exclusive LitJoy pin set. All right, I think this is the Ginny Weasley item. So we have three pins. We have Ginny in her Quidditch robes, looking out into the Quidditch stands with fireworks surrounding the Quidditch pitch. Ginny on her broomstick, holding the quaffle, and an open book with two pygmy puffs that says anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. This is a great little Ginny Weasley set or collection of pins, and it represents her very well. All right, we have the next photo booth photo. Another thing that LitJoy Crate has been putting out is this collection of photo booth photo bookmarks, and this one features Lavender and Ron. Happy Valentine's Day, Madam Puttyfoot's Tea Shop, and then written in the corner says, I love you, Juan Juan. And then inside of the protective sleeve for that photo bookmark, is the big seven passport sticker. All right, we have a box here and then a few more items. And I don't think there's a spoiler card in here. I think the spoiler card may be missing. We have the big seven artwork print. 
Litjoy Crate puts out these little mini prints for each of their themed boxes. This one features the Big Seven. Here we have this fun postcard of the Big Seven. Really cool artwork, I like this. All seven characters there with something about them highlighted. There is a howler in here, and I think this is about, yes, this is information about the Lunicorns. Ronald Weasley, how dare you not be a Lunicorn member? I am absolutely flabbergasted. Don't you know that Lunicorns get reward points, exclusive sneak peeks and discounts, early access to products, and members only products that no one else can get? Memberships are $10 per month, but you immediately get all that money back in the form of points to spend in the LitJoy shop. And reward points never expire, so you can save them up for discounts and big purchases. Plus, when you become a member, you get access to LitJoy's private Lunicorns Facebook group. And congratulations, current Lunicorn darlings. We are so proud of you. LitJoy Crate sent over a 20% off coupon, and they say that current Lunicorns can use the code as well. The code is HOWLER20, and it's good through July 31st of 2021. And if you are on something other than your cell phone watching this, you can scan this QR code with your camera, and that will bring you directly to the Lunicorns sign-up page. Okay, there are two more items in here. One is in a small package, the other is in a larger package, so we're gonna do the small one first. Looks like a wood bookmark, Draco Malfoy wood bookmark. We've all got both light and dark inside us. On this side, we have artwork of Draco Malfoy. And then on the back, it says we've got both light and dark inside us. And it features Draco Malfoy holding up a tulip and also revealing his dark mark. This is like a, a faux wood bookmark. I don't think this is actually wood, but it looks like actual wood. And the last item in this box is inside of a box. And the only person that hasn't been represented yet is Hermione Granger. So this is going to be the Hermione Granger item. It's a vase in the shape of a book. Okay, this is clever. Books and brilliance. On the spine, it says charms, cats, and cleverness. And then on the back, it features Hermione's time turner. The color theme is red and gold, so Gryffindor colors. And then on this artwork are various Hermione Granger items like her wand, we have a cauldron, Crookshanks is on here, as well as her Otter Patronus, and of course, books. Mixed within the books is a book on SPEW or SPEW. I have to say, this is a very clever way to represent Hermione. I'm not sure that I would use this personally, but it would look really nice with a bouquet of flowers in this vase. All right, those are all of the items in the Big Seven box. So let's take a look at the rest of the add-ons. This one I'm gonna save for last, but we have two pins. This one features Mr. Ronald Weasley, who is the king of the keepers. And there's a little banner in front of him that says Weasley is our king, and he is sporting some sunglasses and a crown. It's a two clasp pin, so it will be secured to wherever you stick it. And then the other pin is a really fun collection that Litroy Crate has been doing. It's a Polaroid picture as a pin. And this one says Valentine's Day 1996 at Madame Puttyfoot's Tea Shop. And there is a picture of Madame Puttyfoot's with those words written in the white section of the Polaroid picture. This is such a fun, clever idea just to have snapshots from the Wizarding World, whether it's a place or people, put onto a pin. Really, really clever. Love this. Last but not least is Luna's Lion Head Hat. It is a crocheted or knit hat with a full mane as well as tassels. Okay, what the heck? This is so cool! I wouldn't personally wear this out in public, but I could totally see myself wearing this at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is such a cool item. It feels very well made. I love the decorative eyes on here too. This is such a cool add-on piece. And I am definitely taking this with me to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when it's a little bit cooler. The individual main strands are multi-toned, which is really nice. It gives a nice texture to the main itself. I like that the body isn't a bright yellow. It's kind of an off yellow or a mustard yellow. This is a much better color. It's a little bit more subtle. And then of course we have the black nose, mouth, and eyes with two tassels hanging down on either side. I just received an email from LitJoy Crate. When I realized that the spoiler card was missing, I emailed and they sent the spoiler card digitally. So we have it right here, let's take a look. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Yearbook. <laughs> I love that, how fun is this? Harry James Potter most likely to be featured on a chocolate frog card. 
Ron Weasley, most likely to get a tattoo. Hermione Jean Granger, most likely to become Minister of Magic. Ginny Weasley, most likely to win the Quidditch World Cup. Neville Longbottom, most likely to glow up. Luna Lovegood, most likely to become an animal rights activist. And Draco Malfoy, most likely to follow in his father's footsteps. And on the bottom of this page, we have the Hogwarts theme song. All right, the big seven. You will find things grouped in sevens nearly everywhere in the magical world. So it's no surprise to find these most important characters grouped seven in number two. Harry, Ron, Hermione, Luna, Ginny, Neville, and Draco have become important to many of us for the moments when we recognize ourselves in them, found our own courage through their trials, learned from their mistakes, and so much more. Now, there is a ton of information in the Litjoy Crate spoiler cards. I won't read every single word, but I will show each of the pages so that you can pause and read it for yourself. The Big Seven Art Print. We often hear Harry, Ron, and Hermione referred to as the Golden Trio, but did you know that Luna, Ginny, and Neville are the Silver Trio? Using her signature glowing style, we asked at Lander underscore art to highlight some of these beloved characters' most emblematic symbols in gold and silver, and green for Draco, as a nod to their trio monikers in this beautiful 5x7 portrait. Patronus Collectible Spell Coin. We didn't have a spell coin in our box either. That is so sad. These coins are awesome. I'm sure Litjoy Crate will send me one. Each coin features a different spell on the front and then the wand movement on the back. They're metal coins, really well made. And this particular coin features Expecto Patronum, the Patronus charm. Patronus Collectible Spell Coin. Practice your charms and spells with our number three Litjoy exclusive collectible spell coin. Each magical crate features a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand motion. The artwork for this coin was created by independent artist at maggie.rose.studio. Neville's Remembral. We love Neville for his proficiency in herbology, but it's the Remembral that really reminds us how far the sweet, nervous, and forgetful boy has come to be the brave defender of Hogwarts and his friends. Harry Potter stained glass window hanging. It is almost impossible to create something to represent Harry when his character is on every page of these stories. But combining forces with stained glass artist at Geek Orthodox, we created a five inch by three and a half inch glass window hanging reminiscent of stained glass you might find at Hogwarts to highlight some of the most iconic Harry symbols and images to celebrate the boy who lived. Big seven theme art print. For each of these magical crates, we turn the spell binding and wonderful theme art into an art print for you to display. Independent artist David Eor2 Illusion did a fantastic job creating the incredible art for our magical subscription boxes as well as this 5 inch by 5 inch theme art. Hermione Book Vase. It's safe to say that without Hermione and the knowledge she gained from books, Harry and Ron wouldn't have gotten very far in any of their adventures. We pay tribute to the brightest witch of her age with this four and three quarter inch tall and three and a half inch wide book shaped vase, beautifully designed by at Pink Tofu Art. Ginny Weasley enamel pin set. Ginny is one of our favorite fierce females. She's full of spirit, independent, powerful, and one of our favorite Quidditch players. This Lit Joy exclusive hard enamel pin trio, designed by At Crease Design, to showcase one of the most memorable Ginny quotes and her time as a chaser for the Holy Head Harpies. Lit Joy exclusive photo strip number 11 features the iconic and hilarious relationship between Ron Weasley and Lavender Brown. Lavender, the overly eager girlfriend, just couldn't help herself when they stopped in the photo booth at Madame Puttyfoot's tea shop, leaving Ron quite befuddled. This photo strip was designed by at Sarah Conradson. Ron's Deluminator Flashlight. Of all the ways we could represent Ron, we knew it had to be something that highlighted his loyalty as a friend. Ron was unsure why Dumbledore willed him the Deluminator, but in the end, Harry felt it was because he must have known Ron would always want to return to his friends. 
The amazing box artwork was designed by at Tim Biren. May its light help you find your way to. And then we have Dumbledore's will represented here so beautifully. And everything is written out, what Ron receives, what Hermione receives, what Harry receives, and then it's signed at the bottom. Albus Dumbledore. Seriously incredible spoiler cards here. Draco Malfoy would bookmark. Draco is often called the boy who had no choice, and it certainly leaves our feelings for him complicated. He was raised to be arrogant and cruel, and he embraced those traits at school, but everyone has the light and dark within them. This double-sided wooden bookmark features at Lenyon Art's beautiful depiction of Draco, and Sirius Black's reminder that we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Luna-inspired Infinity Scarf. There are so many reasons to love Luna, from her kindness to her obscure knowledge, to her fierce loyalty to friendship. We are so honored to represent her through her iconic sense of style. And this was designed by at Katarina Savick. And it was made with jersey material, which explains why it has a nice, cool, soft touch to it. And the featured add-ons are the wand shop key, as well as the groundskeeper's hut key. When it comes to this product card, the cover portraits were illustrated by at the imaginative illustrator, and the graphic design of this card was done by Tim Biren. And then there is an advertisement for the magical classes box, don't miss our summer Magical Crate Magical Classes, featuring items representing all your favorite magical school subjects. If you would like to sign up for Lit Joy Crate, check the description down below. There is a link, as well as a coupon code to save some money on add-on items. That coupon code is Potter Collector. All right, let's take a look at some favorites and least favorites, specifically from the box. Without a doubt, my favorite box item is the Remembral. Beautifully done, beautifully made. I love the addition of this stand, which just makes the inside of the Remembral glow. So clearly, I have forgotten something. And then even though I wouldn't wear it myself, I really liked this Infinity Scarf featuring Luna Lovegood. I think the quality is great. The fabric feels very nice, soft, and cool. It's a fun Luna themed design and pattern on the fabric. It just looks and feels like a very well made item. My least favorite is probably the Harry Potter item, this stained glass window. It's just not something I would personally hang up. Design wise, it's just a little bit too busy for my personal taste. And then again, once light is shining through it, you can see some of the imperfections on the stained glass section itself. And that to me is a negative. What about you guys? What did you think about this box? What were your favorite items? What were your least favorite items? What did you think about the box as a whole? Let me know in the comments down below. The add-on items are super strong. I mean, we have two more incredible keys as well as the mothership key ring, making anyone who holds this the keeper of the wizarding world. I mean, come on, look at this thing. You may be thinking, oh, Peter's head must be itching. It's not itchy at all. It's very warm, very soft, great design, awesome product. And the blanket, I mean, just such a fun idea to turn that mural into an actual item, and in this case, a blanket. And in the winter, when it's cold, what's your best friend when you're sitting by a fire and drinking a cup of hot coffee or cocoa? A blanket. I am excited to see what the next box from Litroy Crate holds, which has a magical classes theme. Once again, that box is currently on sale. Purchase it before it sells out. If you would like to start unboxing Litroy Crate boxes, again, check the description down below for a link to show you where you can purchase that box or subscribe to that box as well as future boxes. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or Harry Potter collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram. Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?